This is football analysis, and I'm here with Ola Brown, Chelsea man. You know what time it is. <laughs> so it's Chelsea Brighton today, and uh, amazing. So how do you feel about the match? Um, I feel uh, very happy, and I feel delighted by the results, honestly, because uh, the boy shows that they are really improving, and Chelsea is really coming back. Chelsea is coming back. Chelsea is coming back. Do you think it's for the moment or later now they will be? No, 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 not for the moment because uh, you can see the way uh, the boys have been playing for the past eight matches now. You can see uh, the way they've been playing and the uh, quality of their, what's it called, of their position. It's very obvious that Chelsea is improving and it's very obvious that we are not just uh, deceiving our fans, we are not just de deceiving ourselves and we are not just playing for the moment. We are playing like we have a project to handle. How do you know you guys are, they are not deceiving your, their fans? Yes, it is obvious because um, we are not like um, some um, teams that will just um, win today, uh, lose for the next coming matches and draw the next one and win one. And that's how Chelsea was before. Beat yourselves and call. We are not like which team? Honestly, we are not like Manchester United. We are not like Manchester United because last Manchester United went one uh, three to Newcastle and they were just drumming. They were beating drum and beating Gogon, Yoruba Gogon, like as if they just uh, won a trophy. So they just won a particular man in the past five matches now and they are happy. So we are not like Manchester United. That is how they could see that Chelsea is really improving. Because seven matches now unbeaten. Four matches now, four wins. 12 points from four matches. 12 over 12. So you can see that we are improving. And from the way we play, it is obvious that every uh, game comes with a tactics. Every, games come, every game comes with a set of players that knows how to come to the game and, you know, smash it off. Chelsea is really back. Chelsea is what? Really back. Chelsea is back. It's Kopama show again. What can you say about that boy? Yeah, I think Kopama will always continue to be Kopama. Yeah, I call him my assistant coach. I call him bishop. I call him pastor. I call him honorable. I call him a lawyer. I call him doctor. I call him every fucking thing that you can call him. Every good thing that you can call anybody in any position, you just call him. Kopama is just extraordinary. It's just, I think he's part of the invisibles. <laughs> so, yes, the visible that that that, that has now maybe uh, there's a Kupama spirit in, one, in, in there's one of the spirits inside Kupama. Do you understand? So that guy is just just a wondrous player, a super boy. A, I don't know what to qualify this boy again. I don't know what to qualify him. He's just too good. Well, you say he's the he spirit is part of the invisible. Does no. it mean that Arsenal dashed you? Yeah, it's possible. Arsenal. No, you know they are called. I think the invisible are coming to uh, what's it called Emirates. Next on Sunday, mm -hmm. for what? For to honor the their, th their twenty years of um winning that invisible record they had. So I think that's I'm just qualifying Pamana to be part of that invisible uh what's it called squad that they have. Then one of the invisibles is in Pama. Pama is an invisible player. Pama is an extraordinary player. Pama is a talent himself. So he's just keep on developing, keep on developing, keep on developing, and keep on showing himself every fucking match. So kudos to Pama, honestly. All right, so. How do you play as your pattern of play? How do you play today? I think uh, we knew that um uh basically we knew that um uh, I was called Brighton in are in their home and they are playing their last game at home. And anyone who playing their last game at home now will want to wow their fans and want to show their fans that they really uh have something to offer anyhow. So there are and there are some players that will want to show their talent in last home game, and there are some players that will bring their families to come watch them in their last home games. So it's very obvious that in your last home game, you must play well. So we know that uh, Brighton we, is always very good holding the ball. They are very good. They knows they know how to what, hold the ball. Give tactic, 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 tactic. But you could see that the attack is just somehow one sided. So I think Chelsea used that. They the first forty minutes before Kuku came in, the first forty minutes they were just uh, playing us tactically, but we were too we have been tactical too. So but when Kuku came, the game changed. They wanted to play over players. They wanted to play the way uh, Nottingham Forest played the first system, in, but it didn't. It didn't work because Uncle came to the game and changed the scope of the game, changed the uh, changed what's it called the, the momentum of the game, and it forced Chelsea. Well, I think Nkuku came coming in. Uh, Kopama was there. Kopama started the match. What happened? Yes. Why it was he Nkuku that changed the narrative, the narrative you know, of the match? You know why I mentioned Kopama now because it's you. You guys are turning into Kopama's uh, football club, who shouldn't be so, so anymore. It is no longer Kupama. I told you last week that it is no longer Kupama's uh, club. It is now Chelsea Football Club. So it is not only Kupama that sh should be doing something on the field. Exactly. Cassandra was there trying. Um, Kukrela was there trying. Kupama was there trying. Even, uh, what's it called? My, uh, um, Chaloba and Badashi was there trying. But when Nkuku came, we came back to the game. We came back to the way we used to play Chelsea game. This, 
this season alone, you've changed your name into three times. The, the start of the season, it was Chelsea Football Club. You suddenly changed your name to Copama Football Club. Now again, you are telling me you are changing your name three times a season. You said now it's Chelsea Football Club, yeah. no longer Copama Football Club. Thank God you said I, I am, I'm, I'm changing my name. It was first. It has in the beginning of the season. It was not Chelsea Football Club. It was just a football club that we don't know. We were just lost. We were just like in the bush. But it got to a point. Our Palmer started carrying us up, carrying us up, carrying us up, and it seemed as if we can't play without Palmer. So we named the club uh, Palmer's uh, Football Club, Palmer's Football Club, Cole Football Club. But when our players are complete, when there are persons that are out there to change you anytime you want to, change, and when there is flu in the team, then it is back to the Chelsea we knew. It is back to the what's it called to the to the to the to the pride of London. It is back to Chelsea's way of playing games. So that is it. Now we are Chelsea. Now we don't have to depend on though there are players that uh helps us, there are players that make sure that we don't lose, and there are players that gives us uh goals and assists, which is Pam, which Pam is part of. But nevertheless, I think uh, Chelsea are not playing a team football now, not an individual football, if you could see. Because nowadays now you could see that Kaisoda is working, Okorela is working, but is working, but she is improving. Bishop is working, uh, Chaloba is working, uh, Madoka is improving, Pama is also working, uh, Nkuku is working, Rizims is working, everybody is working. That is what uh, makes a team. But when just a particular player is working and working, and player, it's as if the player is just carrying the whole team on the end, then you, have to, you don't have choice now to name the, the player, the name your club, the player's name. So that's what But now we are playing a team game, not an individual game anymore. So all hands on deck. Yes. I just, just, just give it Chelsea Football Club. I don't want, I don't want Pama's Football Club. <laughs> so what do you say about Kuku's uh, celebration blowing balloons on the pitch? Yeah, if I could uh, give the man of the match today, I think he should go for Kuku. I think uh, Kuku has, I don't think Kuku has played uh, 200 uh, minutes in the Premier League this season. I don't think so. And yet he has three goals. He has recorded three goals in the Premier League this season. And the first one is scored without, but there was no balloon. The second one, there was no balloon. But now, back from injury, he played, I think he has played like about um 14 or uh, uh, maybe 100 minutes number from injury. He has played three matches number from injury. And he even started one. And with a goal like this, the balloon boy is back. All right. Are you sure he's the balloon back? boy is back? The balloon boy is back. The Ukuku we know from um, Leipzig, the Ukuku we know from Germany, the Ukuku we know from France is back and working in Chelsea. Back and working in Chelsea. You can see him blow the balloon. Ooh, 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 and it scares some legs. Yes, now it's kept some red because they were like, uh-uh, balloon for food. Obviously, balloon for food. And it's a blue balloon for God's sake. So balloon, 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 the balloon boy is back. How long has he been, you know, keeping this balloon? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long. But yes. but nevertheless, uh, there are some players. Why, why are you asking me this question? He is supposed to, if, as a, what's it called, as a striker or as a, I'm not taking me for that, and as a person that uh, have only just a celebration, then you have to prepare for your celebration. Yes, you have to prepare for your celebration. There are some celebrations that you have to see when um was it called scored the other day. He he took his set off and said uh Jehovah's boy. What if he had not scored? But he believed that someday he will score. Maybe he has been wearing that Jehovah's boy for like seven matches. But he believed that one day he will score. So he's prepared. And that is how that is synonymous to Uncle's um what's it called to celebration. He's always been, that is my celebration. I have to come with my balloon. So if 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 he's giving the uh, what's it called the ball the ball boy this the, the, the what's it called the balloon I don't care if he's holding the balloon inside his pocket or inside his uh, boxer I don't care if he's holding the balloon inside his throat I don't care he's just been a boy celebrating his type of celebration so I don't care how he, he, he has he's, he's breaking the balloon I don't care how the balloon is, is coming in he's just two 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 a blue balloon celebrating the arrival and <laughs> the monstrous coming of the balloon boy. Oh, cool, cool. My man of the match. All right. So, some people said he was, you know, all through the season, he was, you know, coming to the pitch with the balloon. Maybe he doesn't have the nerves to use the balloon in the first time he scored the second time. And today again, he was able to, yeah. you know, start the match. I think that was the reason why he, he gathered courage to bring it out. Those who are saying he's been playing, or bringing the balloon, all season, they are fools. Maybe they used to watch the back of televisions. Maybe they are not even football, the football fans. Maybe they are not, they are not even a football lover. Maybe they don't know anything about football because if you know anything about football, you couldn't have. This boy has been has been in Egypt for about eight months. Eight months. Imagine Tukuku having three goals and um, what's it called? This uh Power Ranger, Power Ranger in Manchester United. What's his name? This Anthony, this um Brazilian reject, this Anthony. He I don't think he has recorded three goals this season. And yet Tukuku has three goals in less than 
nine appearance or ten appearance. Just ten appearance this season. And those ten appearance is just it's not complete matter. Just stop so bring down bring down complete because I'm saying the injury. And yet it's been wonders. It's celebrating uh what's called balloon and they are getting angry. They are getting angry because they are jealous, they are envious of him because nobody has celebrated with balloon in Premier League before. And my body is doing it. That is how the, uh, what's it called? Uh, this Western player, Gudus, went to uh Old Trafford and celebrated, sat down that place and celebrated and they were they were they were envious and the next man they celebrated like him. So you will see you see that the next match Manchester United will play, the next night Arsenal will play, they want to celebrate like Nkuku. Because they are envious, they are like ah, Nkuku's balloon, balloon, balloon. And then, so it's all, it's all about balloon right now. Yes, it's all about balloon. Even though my goalkeeper score will blow balloon. Next time, next time, next next interview like this, I'll bring balloon. Any match Nkuku scores, I'll bring balloon and blow it here for you. I blow it for my fans, I blow it for your fans, and I blow it for everybody. It is balloon. May they go balloon. May they, balloon. May they go yes. Man, they don't go the balloon distance. The next thing you see, all of them will start ballooning your ball over the post. Yeah, no, that's... this ball, all of them are balloon. Uh, if the balloon and it's eventually scores, we balloon the balloon. And from balloon the balloon, he gets the ballon deal. <laughs> next season, it's just wisdom. All right, all right, guys, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. If you are watching, keep watching and don't forget to follow us on all social media handle at football analysis. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you see on the you next, on the next one. one.